there in social media world. Everybody doing okay? I see you. I can't believe you decided to do this again, but you know, I had to twist your arm. No, I'm just getting annoyed. That's for sure. Actually, uh, my standard is, uh, and my parents taught me, I don't beg anybody to do anything. If they don't want to do it, let them go. And I want you to know, I was going to let you go. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? I, okay. love I have a standard that I, I immediately move the boundaries just like that, uh, just so I could get you. Um, let me go ahead and uh, turn off my tunes here. Too much dancing and partying over here in my house. What's up? Not much. How are you? 
I'm doing great. It is good to see you. Happy New uh, you know, Year. you're w- one of uh, <laughs> the Energizer bunnies. I know I can call on when it comes to emotional abuse and uh, uh, helping those who are just starting out their journey of trying to figure out if they're dealing with a knucklehead or not uh, and a troublemaker, uh, how to cope with that or, uh, as it were, run for safety. So it is really good to see you uh, this morning for me. Wait, it's still morning for you. Yeah, no, it's afternoon. No, we're 2 o'clock no, it's here. Yeah, it's 2 o'clock. Yeah, I, I, I got too many time zones in my head, but that's right, 2 o'clock. Oh, I was on um, a Zoom call earlier with a woman, um, yeah. and she's in Australia. So we were on the phone till 4. <laughs> yeah, I love the Australia time zone. Oh, so, wait, I was that your, Wait, was that your first time doing one from Australia? Yeah, it was. I've done yeah. UK, and that's not yeah. so bad, but right. Australia, yeah. definitely, uh, it caught me. I was like, I yeah. looked down. Because, you know, when you're talking to people who have gone through the same thing you have, no matter where you are, you always click. And it's I, I've yes. noticed yes. this on everybody I've met with. You just click. And then I look down at the clock, and it's like almost two hours later. And there it goes, like, right? Right. It's like four in the morning, and I'm like, it was fun though. Like we were just meeting to talk about like visions and goals and stuff like that. And mm-hmm. it was right. fun. We clicked, we start talking. Next thing you know, it's like two hours later and you're like, I just made a friend <laughs> all the way across in Australia. Connected <laughs> without even leaving your house. Yeah, look uh, at welcome that. to social media. <laughs> that is too cool. And you know, well, you know what I think of you. So this is what you got to do. You know, this Absolutely. is the kind of stuff. I, I told you, you got to do this kind of stuff. I am so, it, not only does it help me with my journey, and yeah, it helps right. me. However, yeah. it, now I'm not saying that anybody deserves to go through this, right? But to me, of course. everybody always says you have to make a positive out of every negative. And I promise every abuse victim, you're not going to look at abuse and be like, oh, it happened to me for a reason. No, but I had to do something with it. And I have channeled all of that into helping people. Because at the end of the day, if I can help one person, just one, and it's every single person I've met with, and I'll explain to you what I'm about to come out with, but every person I have met with says the same thing. They're like, all I want to do is help one person. If I could just help one person. And we all seem to have the same mentality when it comes to Mm -hmm. We can fight this, we can help them, we can stand up together, which is awesome. Like I really, the whole, the last two months, I've worked really hard on a series I'm about to um, break open with. And I um, haven't said anything until uh, today. I was gonna Uh, say it. uh, No, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just joking. (laughs) You know, I like to be surprised anyhow. You know, I don't wanna know way ahead of time. Go ahead and tell me. (laughs) Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. So what I'm doing is I'm starting a series. Now, we all know I had my blog talk radio and I met with yeah. you and I shared my story, which was, you know what, as I said, it helped me heal, but it also helps other people. However, everybody has a story. No matter how similar you think your story might be to someone else, yeah. someone else can come on and share that same story and have another little piece that will resonate with someone else completely. And uh-huh. So what I want to do now is my story's out there. I want to start sharing other stories to talk about this journey to recovery, okay? Because this is a journey, right? And surviving this, everybody needs to know you're not alone. There are so many of us who are out there. And if we build this support group, you know, it really, I know it'll make a difference. That being said, what I've done is I've reached out to a bunch of people. And actually, I have upcoming one, two, three, about 10 to 15 shows. And they'll uh, all be live IGs. Hold, and- hold on one second. Hold on one second. Yep. One second. <laughs> I am so happy for you. I'm going to say an expression I don't normally say. I don't even. Uh, I, I am so proud of you that you're proud of yourself. That's the expression I normally say, but I was going to say I'm proud of you, but who cares if I'm proud of you? I am proud that you're proud of yourself. And and look at your face right now. That is so cool because, you know, we've had some conversations and I wanted to, I wanted to come through the zoom and come get you. 
<laughs> and you're like, uh, okay, I know. You, where's yeah? You and, go ahead. You're, you're you're on a roll here, and let me let me let me let me study study. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> so what I did was I reached out to other people to share their stories as well. Cool. because I want them to come on and share, but I've also reached out to some therapists and life coaches because what we need to realize, okay, is that, yes, this is a journey. This is a journey to heal. But if you have no direction on what way is a healthy life, what are ways we can make healthy goals, healthy boundaries, you know, you're going to fall into that same circle. I'm sure there are many people on here who are listening, who turn around and they're like, I don't understand how I got caught in this more than once. I'm smarter than that. What, what happened? Well, what happened is you're not really changing the fundamentals because you don't realize that honestly, that's where it's based out of, is your fundamentals of what your perception of a healthy boundary is, okay? One of, I'll, I'll throw out a, just a simple example. Um, you have a significant other, you just start dating, and they start showing up at your job all the time to surprise you, right? <laughs> They're not showing up all the time to surprise you because they have nothing better to do, okay? They're showing up to check on you. <laughs> now, no. Uh, right. Well, in the moment, you get like these butterflies, and you're like, oh my goodness, like that's all they think about is me and you feel special. Everybody wants to feel special, right? Everybody wants to feel yeah. special. Mm -hmm. So that's just a simple example of a boundary that you might not realize is not healthy or the texting all day long. I get that, you know, you're in the beginning and you really want to talk to them all the time, but honestly, everybody has a job. Everybody has something that's- <laughs> Something to do. Right, well, okay. Um, most people do, <laughs> you know, most, most normal people. people, right? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so most people have this and if they are on you all day like that, there's something wrong, even though in the beginning, you just feel like it's all love and this and that. So that's another example of a boundary that people don't realize is being broken right off the bat. Like, honestly, they, they don't see it. So, so more and more, uh, and just just for a second. So no, more yeah. and more, there are individuals who are stepping into these landmines in relationships, in their family relationships, uh, at work relationships, in which they're dealing with people, narcissists, toxic people, uh, knuckleheads, I call it, I, different, different things that we can kind of, bad behavior that people are being exposed to. Mm -hmm. uh, and they have no clue that they're dealing with someone who has a pattern of being a manipulator a deceiver, a, 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 they're professional liars. Yes. And some people don't have the life skills and coping skills. Correct. Uh, many of us have not had that to, to recognize these types of people or, yes. or individuals or to know that we need to have boundaries against such things. And we go into the world uh, we, we say, you know, with virgin eyes thinking, oh, man, every, nobody's out to, to do this yeah. to me. Nobody's okay. out, and they're, oh, they're texting me all the time, and they're, ooh. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, uh -huh. you get ooh. It's like, it's like all it's you know, and no. so um, that's why I wanted to have you on today to give um, a power segment, a segment uh, in which people can get some tips that may not appeal to everyone because it may be information they already have. But when it comes to what you're discussing, I wanted someone, and, and you know, grassroots like yourself with that positive, informative, insightful energy to maybe uh, pass on some tips, pass on to make this an open, as you know, open session, uh, open discussion where you can throw out some things for those who may be walking into this, not knowing that there were people out there who don't have their best intention. So go ahead, have at it, have it some more. By the way, Lori, I do see you. I wave out to everybody, but I'm, I'm glad you're here. So, um, as I said, I'm going to have some of those life coaches on. Now, my focus on the life coaches and therapists are building self-esteem, self-empowerment. Um, one of the people will be focusing on mental health awareness because it is getting more attention, but the correlation between violence and mental health really run neck and neck. So that's something that I felt was important to put out there and may help some people in that aspect. 
Um, is this going to be on person, your platform? Is this going to be a part of? Yes, uh, this no, is okay. all, I was just wondering, or I didn't know whether you were going to do it on somebody else's because I think is what you had going was really good, and I'm glad to hear you're going to be doing it. Go ahead, uh, so, uh, talk yes, about the rest of what on, you're going to be doing. Yes, these the ones that I'm saying now they will be on my page, which is Lady Z underscore 2021, and cool. that is my new page basically because okay, fine, I have a story, so my old page has my story, and my feeling and this and that which is great but now we want to grow and move on to just pure recovery and the happy and healthy life waiting after so that's what my new page and my new series is all going to be focused around i actually spoke to a woman just before and throughout this whole thing she's on she's on almost every morning and some days you have a bad day and that's important for everybody to know and i i push this and everything i'm in is that even if you make a hundred steps forward at some point, if you take a few steps back, it's part of recovery. Recovery is an everyday thing. You're not going to just get over this. It's just not, that's not the raw reality of it all. So I have her coming on and she's going to talk about distractions and getting distractions out of you know your way so that you can become successful. Now this woman, she was, um, she lived through abuse younger and she is so successful. And she has this light in her eyes that you can watch and just be motivated by her. So those are the type of people that I wanna bring on, not only the story shares, but hey, this is what I've lived through. This is where I'm at. And these are the tools to build and each one's going to be focused on something else, but these are the tools to build that happy and healthy life. So- well, before as I uh, excuse me as I, I interrupt you there but so as uh, as you go about embarking on what you're doing and expanding from that base you had of bringing in more people into your tent to be able to help more people you're you're spreading out the tent even more before you started doing that were you having moments of difficulty yourself Yes. And dealing with um, a narcissistic ex. That, uh, see, see, I can't even see. I can't even fake like I don't know. See, I'm just horrible. I'm just like a horrible liar. Well, okay, I'm just so gonna let's act like, facts. oh, I don't know the answer. No, but let's face Tell me facts. what was. Tell everybody what was happening that I already know. But just go I, ahead. And tell. That's the best way for me to say it. Right. Go ahead. I contacted you because when we first met, right, and just yes. like I'm saying to everybody else, you can take a thousand steps forward and then something could happen and it's going yeah. to bring you down a little bit. Yeah. But now even more than ever, I really believe that it doesn't matter how many steps you went back. As long as you push, put your head down and stay strong, you will take those steps you went back and then go even further. So I contacted you because I was being harassed by my ex. And so um, just real quick, I had the one ex that I talk about all the time. And he only, did go only to what you're comfortable to talk about. You know, I just I just wanted mm -hmm. people to understand that you didn't oh. just wake up this morning full of full of oh, energy. Yeah. You're no, like this no, no, all no, the no. time. No, just kidding. I, <laughs> no just, that there's a reason down. why you're here today besides talking about your platform. But go ahead. Yeah, well, I pulled myself off of social media and mm. I had to pull back because he, the second one that I fell into, he was harassing me. He was harassing every single person that I was reaching out for. And I just, it was overwhelming. The holidays were coming, blog talk was glitching. It was just so much. And okay, look, it's the holidays. If you think that I wanna wake up on Christmas morning, right? With two kids and you know, it's fine, I'm happy, right? But for, you know, it did bring me down a little bit. And then him harassing me brought me down even more. And I could see it in me. You could see it in me. I could see it in my post. Anybody could. You saw the deterioration as he was harassing me. And that's right. what it is. And that's why I changed pages because, yes, that is how I feel. And I can't deny my feelings. And, yes, that is what I've been going through. That's fine. But we don't need to focus on that anymore because – the more positive things I've been focusing on, the better my recovery and the healing. And honestly, I'd say probably, I pulled myself off social media and it probably went a good like week before I did anything and didn't reach out to anybody. I just need to get my own head together. 
and focus on what I wanted to do and focus back to where I was. I'll tell you exactly right now. The deterioration started in October, probably right after you and I did our show. And I, I was being harassed, being harassed, being harassed. I now feel like I'm back there and even stronger. Like Ooh. I feel. I can see it on your face. <laughs> well, I can, you know what? And I can see it. You know what? I can see it because. Your shoulders, they go north, south, east, west. You're, yeah, you're, and they're... so it's like you're, you're back to normal with a, yeah. with a lot more picante. <laughs> a yeah. lot more picante. <laughs> <laughs> well, as I said, you know, um, just reaching out to these people and not even like I was setting up shows. Yeah. And I had pushed them all off till now and from here on out because I wanted that time to really talk to other people get out there, see where I could head. I know where my vision was and I know what I wanted to do. And I, but I, you know, sometimes being emotionally abused, you are beaten down so much that you have very little faith in yourself. So sometimes you may look at something and be like, hey, I have this vision, but then you're not quite sure if you can even make that vision happen. So when I started reaching out and I started talking to people, their stories, like I said, we just start talking, whether it was people in the UK, Pacific time, Eastern time in the States, if Australia, you know, Australia, anywhere. And we start talking, everybody just clicks. Like I have talked to people and we just click. And yeah, the stories are kind of the same, but they vary. And the next thing you know, after just Zoom meetings of being like, hey, you know, this is my vision. Would you like to be part of it and go through the whole thing? By the end of that meeting alone, I felt better. And <laughs> each time I did a meeting, I felt awesome. better. And awesome. I felt awesome. more empowered. I was building my self-esteem. And cool. I'm making a difference. And I know <laughs> that I'm making a difference. And Wait, hold that... on. Wait, hold on one second. You're making a difference. Yes. <laughs> Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So on top of my shows that I'm doing, uh, mm. last week I did a show with this gentleman named Marcus, and he's on Instagram at MixNuns3000. Okay. And um, we did a show, basically what his, he has his own YouTube um, mm -hmm. channel, and what his show is based upon is normally like, basically like just crazy, crazy stories. And one of the stories he had on there when I reached out to him was it was up north and the people were shoveling snow and they got into an argument about shoveling snow. And this man went in his house, took a gun, came out and shot everybody dead. And I, I was like, oh my goodness. So I reached out to him and I told him part of my story and we're sitting there and you can go on my page and look at it, but just briefly, we're talking. And I was not planning on being recorded at that point in time. We're just talking. And I said to him about how my ex had broke into my friend's house and didn't get charged with breaking and entering there because apparently we let him come visit at some point throughout our lives. So that's not breaking and entering. And then he got away with it again in a different state because he had a toothbrush at the girl's house. So the fact that he was on a ladder and had one foot in and one foot out, that still wasn't breaking and entering. So I tell Marcus this and Marcus was like, wait a minute, now I need to record. He's like, what? He got away with it twice. So <laughs> we just did a show basically just calling out some of the complete inappropriate behavior that these people get away with because they do. So, so, so that's actually what I uh, wanted to draw attention to. I am actually looking at that. Um, I wanted to talk to you about this uh, part one and you have a part two. Part one is the ridiculous behaviors, uh, is what I'm looking at here. That's on your page, ridiculous yes. behaviors. Hi, shush no more, which means no more silent. I like that. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes. Say, you got to say hi. You got, we got to say hi. You say, hi, shush no more. How are is you? It somebody, is it somebody you know? Or yes. If not. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. She will okay. actually be part of my series. So I'm right. really excited that she did join. Thank you so much. And she is one of those strong people, one of those survivors, and she is going to join the group and make a difference with us. And I know that we have zoomed, we have talked, and she's one of those people I was talking about that 
we just got on and we clicked and we just clicked oh, and too cool. just went. <laughs> she is so excited based upon what she has on the screen. Um, um, when it comes to ridiculous behaviors, that's what I'm looking at here. You have posted when yes. it comes to ridiculous behaviors, name me some ridiculous behavior, excuse me, a ridiculous behavior that you experience <laughs> with what a about, narcissist. What when about, you were dealing with a narcissist, when you were dealing with a narcissist, what is some ridiculous behavior or behaviors that you dealt with? Okay, so one of them is uh, after he attacked me, he um, came and offered me a boob job because that was going to okay, make it better. Okay, stop, time out. Nope, time out. You got to rewind that. That makes no sense. I, Marcus and I talked about the same thing. Marcus was like, "Wait, well, time out. Wait, you can't you can't go away to kitchens. You got to keep the details as part of your show. I mean, don't don't. No, I don't want we it all talked much. about I, it. It's because I got to have something to watch. If you tell me the whole thing now, I won't be able to watch your show. Oh, gotcha. And also, oh, what 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 did she say? I what? said gotcha. No, no. Look at the screen. <laughs> look at the screen. Don't not don't pay attention to me. I can't putting cocaine in your drink. Uh, he okay. You, okay. What? What? What other ridiculous? Okay, that's that's I kind of. I can't see the comments for some reason. Oh, you can't. I don't know why you can't. Okay, Neither it says putting I. cocaine in my drink. She put on there. You can't see. scroll up. Maybe you need to scroll yeah, up on your. No, it's the last thing it shows me. I can't even see people who joined. That's how come I didn't know she joined. Wow, that is um. Wow, that's weird. It, I normally can up. always. Let's see. Um. Hold on. Let's no see worries. No if worries. If I post, nope. I'll read it. I'll read. I'll okay. read it out to you. Okay. All right. So I'll read it out to you. So I see that you you type thank you on there. So that's yes. cool. But anyhow, so she put uh, that somebody put uh, her uh, dealing with a narc. They put uh, cocaine in her drink. Uh, 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 are you talking about a guy did that to you, or hopefully it wasn't like a relative? Anyhow, so uh, I, I'm just being weird. All right. The other thing her. here I have to ask you about is well, uh, now you told me that I take that back. I'm quite sure you have more. What I, what other no, things? I want to go back to the cocaine in her drink. Okay. <laughs> you want to go back to the cocaine I, in her well, drink? Because, okay, that sounds no, bad. Yeah. That I, sounds really bad. I want to discuss that for a uh, And the only reason <laughs> I want to discuss that is because there was something that was definitely being put in my food or drinks. I had chemical burns around my mouth, but I don't uh, by know. The, by the way, she did say, yes, it was her ex put it in her yeah. drink. Uh -huh. But go, go ahead. I I'm, I'm reading off to you what, what it says. Go ahead. I have no proof. I don't know what was put in there. But by the time he was done with me, my skin, by the time I ran to my friend's house, my skin was blue, like a yellowish blue. I was so, so thin. So thin, you saw all the bones popping out of me. And I had chemical burns around my mouth. And mm. I thought initially the chemical burn, well, I, what I thought they were was, I thought I was having like maybe a sensitive reaction to facial hair. To be honest with you, that's what I thought it was. I wow. thought maybe if kissing no, me, no. like, you know. I understand. But. I understand. No, no. It was chemical burns around my mouth. So the whole cocaine in your drink thing, they do try, and I hate saying this, but they do poison you. If they can't poison you mentally, they will physically try to poison you. You know, I mean, this, this, this is a good reason for, for a lot of people. I've heard people say this. They, they say this is a good reason. To stay single so, so because, or, or you definitely have to have the same principles and guidelines and be on the same page with somebody to know that you're getting okay uh, nobody someone will with common sense or have to see their medical or have to see their their medical record or the mental health record uh -huh. I'm just kidding. nobody uh, will ever cook for me at this point i'm sure that moving <laughs> forward I will no you go to fast food this. don't try to don't try to act like you don't get fast food I, I can't. I'm celiacs. I legitimately. Oh, yeah, to, that's right. You did. I have right. to yeah, home yeah. cook everything and I hate cooking. So <laughs> I was always like that person who's like, all right, you want to cook? That's fine. Now I'm like, don't touch my food. <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're like, no, I'm no, no, good. no, no, I'm no, you got cameras. You got, you got, you got cameras all in the kitchen. You're just I like, have cameras you got cameras everywhere. everywhere. I have cameras, cameras everywhere. That's a thing. No, it really is a thing. And the reason I have cameras everywhere and I want people to understand because some people may feel this way. Not only do I have cameras everywhere outside to protect me, to know that I'm okay, because I'm here by myself. I have a three-year-old and I have an eight-year-old. At the end of the day, I'm the guardian of 
everybody. I have to make sure they're okay. Mm -hmm. So of yeah, course. I do have cameras out there, but for the longest time, I used to have cameras in the house because I would be told that you never did that. You never. So I almost had cameras in the house to prove I was doing things. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Who does oh that? Oh my lord! You know what oh I mean? Oh my lord! You know what? This is uh, this is book worthy. I told you that before. Oh, I started the, the things that you have gone through. It's kind of like you need to like journal all this stuff and like self-published an ebook. I've started because I've um, we're not even scratching the surface of a lot of things that you've mentioned. Tell me what now can you give three i'm just gonna there's more but can you just give three tips off the top of your head that are beneficial if somebody has to deal with a narcissist now there's a number of them that are across social media youtube facebook all many books many people are are, are touted and are revered as uh, experts in, in uh, this particular field all of the information has proved to be beneficial to a lot of people at different stages and levels of them dealing with someone who's narcissistic or has narcissistic traits or just has plain old fashioned bad behavior. I want you to pass out three things that you know that have it's worked for you. So when you say that to me, one of you, okay, recovery can't even start until you mm -hmm. stop being so hard on yourself. You have got to let go of the embarrassment, the guilt that you hold because, and so I had put this in there because there are a couple things and we'll get there. There's a difference between being trapped and immobilized, right? When you don't let go of that fear and that guilt, which is what needs to happen. And that's what I'm saying to everybody is that you have to let go of that. You have to ease up on yourself. You have to, because you are immobilizing yourself. And I, I will get there, but I have written the exact definition of what that means. And that's what you're doing. You're, you're preventing yourself from healing. So that's the first thing is that you have got to let up on yourself, whether you went back and we've talked about this, on average, you go back seven times and that, you know. Um, but, you, you know, a lot of people, the more they get down on themselves, the more depressed they get. Then some people are putting on weight, so then they feel horrible about themselves even more there. They don't want to get out of bed. And you cannot heal, recover, or even leave the relationship because you are holding it all like it's your own fault. Like you failed. Like you couldn't fix this person. And so that would be my first tip is that I had to let go of the embarrassment uh, that I wasn't strong enough that I let him, you know, that I let him beat me down like this. I had to let go of the guilt of leaving mm -hmm. him and my daughter not having the family unit. Um, mm -hmm. You know, I had to do that. So that would be the first thing that I say to somebody. Who's let go of the guilt and the shame or, or fear as it yes. were, right? Yes. Uh, um, would be the first one. Go ahead. Let you off yourself. Say. Absolutely. Well, uh, that, well th that we may have inside. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, Let that, off yourself. That, uh, uh, we may have that. We need to work through that. It has to be let go. Matter yes. of fact, I just got to, I'm going to, I'm going to do this here real quick because you're getting some love on the screen um, from uh, Shush No More. He said, um, let me see if I get this. I'm going to read this to you. It says uh, that you cannot feed their egos. Don't respond, and she threw you a she threw you a amen in that, and uh, she she said that she went up to three hundred and twenty pounds. Yep, there she are three hundred and twenty um, pounds in dealing with a, a knucklehead. Mm -hmm. Because they deteriorate at your mentality, and I'll give you a brief example. Um, I know Don't somebody. Don't forget, you got to give us number two and three. But go ahead. Yes, but I know somebody who. She knows that she put on weight, right? And she's been married to this person for five years. And she says to me, now we don't know each other throughout her whole marriage, but she says to me that that's the heaviest she's ever been. Well, dude walks up the other day and was like, oh, did you lose weight? And I looked at her and she's like, I am the heaviest. I said, he didn't say that because he thinks you lost weight. He said that because he knows how you feel about the weight and he's trying to get into your head. That's yeah. why he said that. He knows, he's not stupid. So 
that's my first one. My second one with dealing with a narcissist, which Shush No More just said, is that it is very important to go no contact. And sure. now here is where I will give my exact life experience. And it's something that I was taught by you. Okay. Oh, don't even. Uh oh. <laughs> even <laughs> if I go no contact. Don't listen to Paxton. <laughs> but go, you're right. Go ahead, go ahead. Even if I go no contact, and everybody needs to know this, even if you go no contact and you do not answer, you do not reply, you do not do this, but then you go on social media, right? <laughs> and you post this post talking about yep. how they do this or how they do that. Underlyingly, you're responding <laughs> to them and they're seeing yep. that response. And you were 5,000% correct, not 100, you were 5,000% on point <laughs> when you said that. I didn't even realize being in the thick of it that I was still having contact. I was still having yeah. that back and forth. Right, right. So that would be my second piece of advice is no no contact. But even, fully, even on especially yeah. on social media. Like, or, or or it's just something uh, I call it I call it emotional porn. It, yeah. It's for them it's like emotional porn. Mm -hmm. They 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 uh they look for it. They're looking yeah. for something well, you know, they could twist something that has nothing to do with them and make, oh, it, yeah. make it about them. But mm -hmm. they look for what they go like, oh, oh, they must be thinking about me. Yeah, well, you know, uh -huh. so they go and do more stupid stuff. You know, yeah. they, you know, the, the story. But anyhow, since so I've pulled off since I've pulled off. OK, the harassment has gone down. I'd be generous. I'll say 85 percent. 85 percent has wow. gone down since I have stopped posting my feelings and reacting to what I'm going through. Focusing. You cut, you cut that source of supply off, baby. Uh -huh. You went chop, chop, big boy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. And so chop, that's my chop. number two. That's my number two is no Got contact, it. but fully it, no contact. Totally across all boards. No response, yeah. no emotion, no nothing. <laughs> okay. You're dead. Like go back. The woman from Australia last night, she's like, at some point you almost have to go back. To before you met them and pretend you live there, <laughs> like and she was so on point when okay, she said that. Okay, that's pretty good. You know, you gotta, she, she was, hey, you better, you better time machine that puppy. You better, right. you go like, Let's you go hit back. the button, hit the button. I'm going back in time now. Yeah. Uh huh. Pretty <laughs> well, I'm sorry if, if that was I, in everybody's ears, but if I was bewitched. I would wiggle my nose you and go you back. Do <laughs> you? Hey. Like a you decade be, or yeah, yeah you know, you, one you, or the other. Back to the future, Nark, yeah. Nark back to the future, uh, Delorean. That's what you're gonna get. Oh, my <laughs> Hop in goodness. that puppy, and you go like, Okay, I know how to get rid of you. I'm just gonna set the clock back to before I met you. Uh huh. She was so <laughs> on point when she said that. And I like then that. my final piece of advice for anyone who is dealing with a narcissist is that they are not alone. You have got yeah, to realize absolutely. that absolutely. this is not on you. This is them. They are not the only ones. There's a whole group out there. And because there's a whole group of them, it makes a whole group of you. Okay. It makes a whole group to walk this together. Go out there, speak, share your stories. The more people that stand up, the more will come Absolutely. out. Okay. Absolutely. So that's my last and final, but most important piece of advice is to know that you are not alone, that it is possible and it's happy and healthy on the other side, I promise. I promise, no matter, <laughs> I, as I said, I was- Preach, sister, go ahead, preach on, girl. Go on, tell him it's, it's, it's good. Well, it's good on the other side. Even it's me, the... you know, I had fallen back a little bit, but it, I'm, I'm even better now. And you're going to keep growing as the time goes on, and if you put your focus. Someone once told me, right, that you need to become unattainable, okay, and that, in order to do that, you need to honestly engulf yourself to where you are so focused on everything you're doing, you can't even be focused on, you know, the one that just won't leave you alone or that's harassing you or trying to bring you down. And when you become unattainable, you then are able to attract a different circle of people. And the people that you will attract will become better character. They will have goals. They will have healthy boundaries because they're yeah. probably just as busy as you are. Yeah. So you're not going to get that person who's texting you. What are you doing? Where are you? Why didn't I hear back? Why didn't you call me back? 
because they're they're working. <laughs> they have a job during the day that actually matters, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's my yeah. last and final piece of advice is that you are not alone and that we are going to do this together. I promise. I promise, promise, promise. <laughs> that is my goal till whenever. Like, that's and I know, goal. and I know you mean this mm -hmm. because we've talked and I know you really love people yeah. you just don't like troublemakers <laughs> like most people <laughs> you, you, and so that gets your ire up that gets you get you, you but i know you truly care for people and the project that you have in mind that you're putting forth is going to be very helpful but i want to do something with you because we're going to do one segment today uh, because i'm doing two shows but uh i, I we will talk because i got something else that popped up uh last night that I that uh, came up and I want to talk to you about it. You know, we'll talk in a Zoom. It, it don't have to be this week. It'll be next one. this week is over. We'll talk soon. Okay. And I want to throw something at you. Uh, but uh, this power segment is not going to be complete. I've got to ask you about uh, something. And so just hang in there for a second. I'll pull it up here on this uh, side screen that I ha have here. And uh, you posted something. Uh, I just got to talk to you about it. It was eight hours ago based upon this. <sighs> And um, I just love your mindset. I, I admire your energy for what is right. You have a high sense of justice in you as a person, of what is, what is just, what is, of course, fair, but more importantly, for what is right. You have a high sense of that. And someone tried to take that from you or, or twist it around inside of you and, and, and use you uh, for their own uh, dishonest means and dishonest gain. Uh, you have survived that, and they've tried to come back, and others have tried to step in. I'm, I'm exceptionally proud of you being proud of yourself. But I got to ask you about this. Okay. Uh, eight hours ago, associate yourself with people of good quality, for it is better to be alone than in bad company. Now, uh, I can't. There's no way. Uh, uh, I don't need actually, to comment. I don't need to comment on this. Okay. But What's go ahead. What's actually Im important about that that I posted is I. Before you say that, before you say that. Okay. I want you to go ahead and do what you were about to say, but please keep this in mind. I want you to use those words to address someone who's just getting started and dealing with someone who's a troublemaker. Yes. Go ahead. Which so, is why I really wanted you on today. But go ahead. I went and I surveyed people because your definition of something may be different than mine. And Absolutely. I was curious on what people thought good qualities of somebody was and what bad company. And it was all based off of what you just read. Okay. So what I did was I'm going to read off and I had typed them up because I, I found them to be very, a lot of them were similar, but some of them I'm like, Hmm, that was kind of interesting. So I'll just give you a couple. Um, many people said respect. Treat that someone treats you the way you treat them. Many people said that. They're polite. A lot of people said compassion. Now, people have different meanings of compassion. The exact meaning of compassion is sympathetic pity and concern for the suffering or misfortune of others. Beautiful. That's what uh -huh. compassion is. The right. empathy. Okay? Mm -hmm. If they don't have empathy, that is a good quality to have. You should pay attention a little bit closer if they don't have any empathy. <laughs> a little bit. A tiny bit. <laughs> One of those a things bit. that we talk about being a, a, a crazy behavior. Yeah. When you fall and break your foot and they're like, oh, I twisted my ankle trying to get to you. I mean, come on. Like, yeah. really? Right. Okay. So that was, and then someone else said integrity to be honest and having strong moral principles. But again, that's in everybody's different perspective of what their moral principles are. So you see how this will vary from person to person. And then another one was honest, loyal, trustworthy, and personable. That's the one I found to be very, very interesting. Because- The personable one? The personable yeah, one? Because okay. when I was talking to you about talking to those other people that yeah, I have, right? We've been able to banter back and forth and talk and this and that and lose track of time 
because you're personable. If you are standoffish and watching, that is a clue to know you are being studied. Ding, ding, right. ding, ding, ding. Hello, you're being studied. The, the train is coming to right. hit you. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, yep, it's on its way. And so those were some of the things that people said about good qualities. Now, bad company. Some people said, and this was one that interests me, people who are always complaining and making excuses. It's a good one. It really is. Oh, yeah. Because that goes back to the personable part. That goes back to the compassion part. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, they kind of go hand in hand. Um, this is something someone said. They are always looking through everything through negative lenses. Okay. And their part behind that was even if you don't participate in their poor choices or poor thinking, that can still create problems in your life. Okay, which I found to be very important when they said that to me. Another one was bad company is people who you can't be authentic around. When right. you can't be yourself, that's bad company. And the other two were people who are rude, violent, and a hypocrite, and then people who have a controlling mentality, which the controlling mentality is what we're talking about. And it all goes back to pretty much all of those tie into one another. Now, telling about that quote I posted, okay? If you have bad company, okay, it is going to affect your life. Whether or not you're good and you hold good qualities, that person is going to affect your mental state. Anybody, you don't want to be around a Debbie Downer all day. You don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I you know. Hey, hey shush, shush no more. Just no more said you got to be real. She said something else, but I can't. I'm not gonna say the four little words. But she said you got to own it, though. You got to own your own stuff. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead. No, I just want to throw that in because she's. No, absolutely. Yeah. I and hello to everybody on. else. Hello to everybody else that's joining in. Hi. Uh, I do. I do have a narc abuse TV page. This is a little different than that. My open session podcast page is kind of like a. We just have a free for all, but you know. And I'm here with my 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 buddy Lady Z. Well, that's her. She she's like she's like Prince Loa. She she changed her name. She <laughs> she 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 the, she's she's the she's the life coach formerly known as Zena, but now she's <laughs> Lady Z. Now she's like yep. Lady Z. Mm -hmm. Wait, I should wait. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. So here we go. Here we go. Introducing Lady Z. <laughs> Play out. Are you no, you don't. <laughs> what is it? Queen Zena. Mm -hmm. I think on the screen it says Queen Zena. Uh, 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 just no more. No more put out there. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just had to throw uh, that thank in. you, Shush No More, for all of your support because I spoke with her and I know how strong she is. And I'm super proud and I am blessed to have her join me. I really am. So thank you so much for watching and for all your comments and all of your support. You so, better remember where you were because I was goofing off there, so go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> well, so I'm going to go back to that post, right? And what I mean by there is so I talked about the bad company and the effects. Now, if people have good qualities, it's almost like everybody's like, oh, you're rubbing off on me. It's a true thing. So if you're a yeah. bad company, you're rubbing off on me. You're messing and poisoning my mind. If you have good qualities, maybe... I'll give you an example. Maybe your good quality, and this isn't like a huge thing, but maybe you like to keep the sink clean, right? And maybe I was just like a big mess with the sink. But you do it every day. You don't, you don't drill it into my head that I can't do it. You don't complain at me about it. But you just do it because that's what you want to do. <laughs> that's what you do, yeah. Correct. Right. I'm telling you that that's going to rub off at some point. You know, yeah, it just course. is. Yeah. That's true. So, no, that's true. You know, hanging out with people or having people with good qualities around you is a very positive thing because it will increase your healthy life. It is going to give you positive attributes other than what you have. Because everybody, most people, are great people inside. You, most people, that is absolutely true. have a big heart. They yes. do. And a lot of people who are guarded and don't show that big heart is because they have trauma, not because they're not a good person, okay? And so now, right, if you had a choice between bad company or nothing, 
take the nothing. I, uh, I, I'm with the nothing and I've never been happier in my life. I was never okay <laughs> being alone. I was Did you just call me nothing? No, but you're so far away. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. But, okay, so check this out. So check this out. So some people, uh, uh, it's amazing that you're doing the show today. Some people contacted me. Uh, maybe I did I tell you? I don't know. I have, I have certain people uh, that watch the show, and they contact me and go like, hey, where's this person? Where's that person? And so you're one of those people that they, they asked me about. And then, of course, you know, we talked and stuff, and then you're going to, you know, we're going to do the show. And uh, I go to post stuff telling people you're going to be on the show. And I got people going like, is she really going to be on the show? <laughs> they, they don't. Now, first of all, a lot of people, I love my loyal followers. I, I have mm -hmm. loyal followers. Yeah. I don't, you know, I, I don't have numbers that sway up and down. People stick with the brand that I bring to mm -hmm. watch the show. They're not watching me. They're not watching the page for me. And they wanted to see you and so they were like they don't watch it live they they yeah. watch the download or they download it themselves they yeah. watch they download it to their own they watch it whatever they want you know instead of going through instagram and so they're like okay i can't watch the show but i know it's going to be good because you know <laughs> what I, you know what i dm you you know your energy and and one of them told me this i have to tell you this beside what i just mentioned to you they told me this they said hey she may not be for everybody, but she's for me. <laughs> now, that wasn't a guy. That was, that was a lady that said that. And she really, I know, I know part of her story. And she needs to have someone like you speak to her heart. Her heart needs to hear your words and feel your energy. I, I've recommended other people to her. I'm people here for her. And other things. And she, and what's so interesting is, you know, she, she lives in, in privacy because mm -hmm. she's been married to it for a long time. Mm -hmm. And you know how it goes. They yeah. went to Google. They went to Google it. You know, they just, that's how she, you know, ended up stumbling up on my page and other people. Yeah. She just was hearing it so much. And in the news, she went like, hmm, let me Google that. Uh -huh. And it's like, oh, and now her eyes are open. But she needs it to be delivered, the message, a certain way for her to understand it. Yeah. To Everybody's move her different. to action, to move her to action. So mm -hmm. there's your one person. <laughs> so that's so when awesome. you leave today, and that's she, your one person. And in can... privacy, she she's able to listen. Uh, a lot of people uh, don't necessarily watch the show; they download it and listen to. It. Oh yeah. So that's why but my shows you know are why? my shows are done in the format in which I ask questions a certain way, as if it's a a radio or a podcast uh, format. Do you know why a lot of people don't come on the live IG when you're live? I've asked. Oh. And oh, okay. a well, lot of it's probably because they don't want to look at my, my beautiful face. But. No, because if they watch it after, they still have to look at your beautiful face. But, <laughs> okay, go ahead. Hit my mic. Um, Hit it's my mic. because they are afraid of people seeing their name come across the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's under No, that I do know that, yeah. I, and I, mainly I the men that watch. Throw that yeah, but, out to the yeah. ones who feel like they're the only ones who don't watch live because of that reason. You're not. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I've spoken yeah. to many people who do that. And she, oh, yeah. I don't I know who she is, but by all means, she can message me, contact me. If she wants to talk to me at any point in time, that's what I'm here for. I just want to be here for people like that. Please reach out. I, 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 as I said, I get lost in conversations all the time. And before you know it, you feel so much better. And it wasn't even a therapy <laughs> session. Okay. It even, no, no it, was, it was an open session. Correct. That's we're open. Was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my, my poor uh, marketing delivery. <laughs> open session is now open. Yeah. Aisle seven. No, okay. <laughs> so so but, the, the, the thing that you're doing, the things that you're doing, and the thing that you're doing at this moment when you speak to her, it will reach its destinated point. Uh, that uh, makes my heart. Uh, I said happy. that wrong. Excuse me. I said that wrong, everybody. It, it, will, it will reach its destination. Uh, so it, it, it'll work. Go ahead. You were, you were saying some more. It just, that makes my heart happy. That's exactly what I was telling you at the beginning. That's my purpose. That's my goal. That's my vision. If I can do that, I will feel so good that I was able to make that difference in someone's life because everybody. As, as, you, as you wish, because it has just happened. But go everybody ahead. deserves this happy and healthy life that I'm living. Oh, yeah. it's, not, it's not easy. 
okay? I work and I have the two kids by myself and my son's at school and my daughter's only three. It is really, really hard, but it is really, really worth it, okay? Bingo, bingo, so, bingo, bingo, bingo. It is really worth it to have your peace and your quiet your mind. and your happy times with your children because there is no one in your inner circle creating havoc. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, one, one of uh, a, a person I, I truly admire, uh, uh, I gotta be careful I say this because it's not like I'm a stalker. Kim Saeed, uh, I, I just, I, she has a page. I'm telling you guys, she, the stuff that she has posted, I've watched her stuff for a while but before I even started doing this. Uh, I would, I would be honored to, to, to do an interview or talk with her because a lot of the things she says uh, in what she posts is, uh, is very beneficial to people who can feel stuck. And, mm -hmm. and, and listening to other people, and they need to maybe make a decision that seems difficult for others to swallow, yep. but it's going to make their life so much better. And I like the way you come across, the, the, the way you put yourself out there, uh, and that's what made me want to talk to you, because it's going like, okay, I'm looking at her post, and it's going like, okay, thumbs up. It's yep. like, well, she's, she's getting a little angry and violent. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, uh -huh. And she was so happy and cheerful and, like, yeah. you know, and they jam bring you down you're like jam that. You were jamming with the happy bears and the honey in uh -huh. Winnie the Pooh. And now all and of a sudden you, you carry a machete. You have to fight your way back. You have yes, to you, fight your you way have back. Yes, you, 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 you have to reset. You have to get your grip again. Your reset. grip Your grip on life. Yeah. You're, you're, mm -hmm. You know, holding on to the real life uh, is hard for a lot of people. So people settle for a life that's comfortable. But when we push through and we really exert ourselves and reach out for the real life, then we've attained something that cannot be taken from us. Yeah. And that can only happen by having principles and guidelines that are fundamentally unchangeable yeah. and boundaries that yeah. cannot be demolished because we're in a protected zone. And Absolutely. We emotionally feel safe and we know that our voice is going to come out of us whether we're hurt or not it's going to come out mm -hmm. and only those who respect us admire us appreciate us recognize that we're needed that we're valued that we're wanted and desired those people will listen to us yeah. and that's what i see now in your eyes you found not just your tribe but you found some warriors to run with and yep. i'm happy for you Absolutely. i'm happy for you i really am i ain't gonna talk to you all day because I, I got i got i gotta go but, but I have to talk to you about something that came up last night. And I was okay. like, oh, I got to talk to Lady Z because that's your, I'm new, excited. You know, your new prince name. So, as you, you know, you're like, artist formerly known as Zena is now Lady <laughs> Z. So, I, I, you know, I don't know. Where'd you get that from? Anyhow, so <laughs> Lady, Lady Z, I'm just messing with you. So, um, <laughs> Lady Z, I, I just love saying it. I really do. I just love saying that's it. That's how I'm I waiting, got it. It's I'm waiting catchy. for the shirts. <laughs> just get, I'm waiting for the shirts. Where you have you know, uh, like uh, what was her name Laverne and Shirley? You know how she yes. had the big L. Oh, like she had I the know. big L. Uh, you need something <laughs> in that, and everybody gonna go like, "What is that for?" You go like, "Oh, I'm glad you asked." Have you ever <laughs> dealt with a, a narcissist? Let me help you. Here, here's my card. You like, here's, my, here's my website, and I was just like totally a huge marketing thing. Here. All right, uh, the whole the whole point of open session underscore podcast. Is people go like, "Why do you have so many pages?" Because this is a page in which I get to relax with people that I love talking to and get to meet about what the world has put them through when they have to deal with people who are self-absorbed, or in other words, the name is narcissist, narcissist, narcissistic traits and other uh, titles. But when they have to deal with self-absorbed people, when they are dealing with their sober journey and addiction, uh, when, they're dealing, when they're an Instagrammer and they just have something that they want to say or a blogger, that's what this page is for. But it's also for people who have been on my show before that are my friends. They're my friends through, through COVID and through social media, and they've been able to let their voice be heard on my platform. And I am honored to have you again. Um, Thank you and so much. And that you put up with me. And, no, uh, I, I, look, yes, for whatever speak it, it is, speak it. you are a very inspiring drive in my life. And you need to know oh, that as well. So thank you very much. Don't make me cry. You know, I'll cry like a big, <laughs> a big 
chocolate baby. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. See, I get to be. I'm more goofy here than I am on the Narc Abuse page. I'm a little. You gotta have serious, fun. You know, so, and hey, smile. Hey, 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 there you go. Got to show. Hey, got to show all two of the teeth I got left. There. So, that's so, the fourth so, thing. So, okay. So uh, you're getting a lot on the screen that you're never gonna know, but uh, I'm leaving it up to Shush. Uh, no more to make sure she contacts you and tell you all the stuff that she was writing because it's <laughs> awesome. No, I'm serious. No, she she's writing some. She really is awesome. Things. I'm telling and... you, I met with her and she is amazing and she is strong <laughs> and um, she's going. I'm I'm trying to. Um, she has some stats she's going to share on my coming okay. show and uh, right. it's going to be super interesting. So That's I will awesome. post all That's that awesome, stuff. Cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Cool. I'm going to I'm going to not do my normal thing. We get closer to the screen to let you know I'm running out of time. I'm just <laughs> going to say it. So so I run out of time. Um, all right. I got to go. Um, this has been fun. Thank, Thank you, you for being on my low budget, uh, under budget shows. And uh, you are going to knock it out the ballpark. I care about you immensely. Take care of those babies of yours. And remember, you were better than the people that came into your life. There were troublemakers and narcissists. They couldn't handle you. They didn't deserve you. Let them walk on out the door because the best is yet to come for you, my friend. The best is yet to come. All right, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. Thank you, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining. I appreciate the support. Yes. yes, yes, everybody. We'll see you soon, and we'll cause some more havoc another time. Uh, uh, Lady Z. And Paxton, we'll be back another time. I'll see you later, okay? Have a Bye. good one. Have a good weekend, too. You Bye. You, too. You, too.